poppin' niggas and niggas and non-niggas and non-niggas. It's your boy Bread Pill Black Hair and welcome to my post 100 subscriber Q&A special. Thanks again to everyone who's watched my content, like and subscribed. It's because of viewers like y'all that empower me to do the things that I do today. I really appreciate it. So now, let's get it. Question zero now. Where do you get your name from? Well, I get my name from my daddy. And I'm pretty sure it's Greek for corn or some shit. But if you mean my YouTube name, though, it means, well, it's a parody of Candace Owens' original YouTube name, Red Pill Black Girl. Well, and I'm not a girl. I identify as a male. But I am black and I'm bread pilled. And, you know, that rhymes with red pill. So, you know, bread pilled black. Question two. Could you tell us a general outline of who you are? Things like what got you into leftist stuff, your experience in leftist communities, et. I've read a little something for this um question, so if it looks like I'm reading something else, well, that's because I am. Start off, I am a graduate of the Delaware State University, where I obtained my bachelor's in mass communications and a minor in education. I'm pro-black, I'm pro-LGBT, anti-racist, and I hate conservatives with a passion. I'm INFPM, whatever that means. I like anime, music, debating, video games, and politics. What got me interested in leftist politics were um, my ex and my friend Regine. Those were like one of the few people that actually challenged me on all the toxic masculine and bigoted bullshit that I would say. And it's because of them that made me think, you know, maybe what I'm saying and maybe what I believe is wrong. Like, for an example, my ex um, was the one who pushed me in the direction of accepting LGBT rights and seeing trans people as valid. And my friend Regine, she helped me realize that I am a feminist. Matter of fact, I can openly say I'm an intersectional feminist. I would say they were the stepping stones and furthering me to being where I am politically today. Charlottesville happened and with all the race-based murders by police to, pe to, you know, to my people, um, it made me realize the racism in this country was still bad and something needs to be done about it. After that, I discovered YouTubers like ContraPoints and H Bomber Guy, Philosophy Tubes, and Destiny, and that helped me formulate better arguments against the chuds and like, you know, help persuade me even further to the left. Becoming better educated in black history and American history and history all over the world and understanding how class issues increase the racial ones. It kind of pushed me further and further left again. And then I watched, um, not watched, I started reading a lot more like data and studies and um, speaking with my gender studies professor, Dr. Nurse, on issues such as systemic racism, LGBT rights, classism, sexism, feminism. It it didn't indoctrinate me, but it made me grow the fuck up. And to be real with you, that's something a lot of the people on the right hasn't done. And they refuse to do it. Now, to answer the second part of your question, um, how my experiences in leftist communities, they've been pretty okay. Like, you know, you got the class reductionists and you have the... Um, LARPers, for lack of a better word. And they get really annoying, but overall it's been a pretty good experience. And they've been supportive. Like, you know, I would like for them to like and subscribe more to my stuff, but that's more on me to create content that they would want to like and subscribe and share with, which I mean share, you know? But yeah, leftist community has been cool. They, they've, they're not as funny as the right communities I used to be in, but I also think that's because, you know, they actually care about people and they have a strict, you know, don't be a shitty person policy. Question three, where do you get your intro from? Surprise, but really no surprise. I'm a huge fan of rap music. And one of my favorite artists today is the duo, er, rap duo, um, Earth Game. One of my favorite songs to them is This Side from their latest album. The intro of the track is. I pray for all my niggas and niggas and non niggas and non niggas. You know the rest? Yeah. 
And I said, if I were to ever have a show or a YouTube channel, um, that would be my intro. I hope it doesn't offend anyone. I just liked the song and thought it would be pretty fun to have as it, you know, I include everybody, the niggas and the niggas and the non-niggas and the non-niggas, you know, I thought that was cool. <laughs> Plus, how many people on BreadTube actually speak like this? Like, intros for the culture. <laughs> Question four, wanna collab? Sure, I'd be down. Like, I'm, I don't know what we gonna collab about, but like, you know, I'm always open to collaborations. You know, more content, the better. <laughs> Question five. So yeah, I know this question was kind of asked like two questions ago, but I I'll just give a teal deer as a teal deer. Power of the pussy, better education, um, being in an environment that fosters growth intellectually and personally. Um, having a good grasp of education and history. You know, um, growing out of that coon mindset I obtained from being in the alt light. Um, bright tube, um, having people willing to help me grow and listen to me and, you know, call me out on my bullshit. That helps a whole lot. Um, yeah, I I'm going to be making a later video about this, but this is essentially it. Question six, is Vosh rad? So Vosh is based, like, I, I like Vosh. I'm a huge fan of, I'm a huge fan of his. <laughs> I have a lot of respect for the guy and I hope my channel grows to be on his level one day. I want to help people give arguments to debating dumbass conservatives like he does. And not even just conservatives, you know, fascists, centrists, um, liberals. You know, they all kind of suck. The liberals are cool though. The liberals are cool though. Question seven. What's the most unexpected thing you've learned since joining BreadTube? So there are three things um, that were most unexpected to me once I started doing BreadTube stuff, or well, being a part of BreadTube. Um, how to market yourself, um, your audience, and three is trying to expand. For things that like I already knew about it, because like I said, I'm a communications major. This is stuff we're already taught, but like. BreadTube is a niche, like, it's very niche. And the majority of these people, majority of the people in this, you know, sphere of influence are white. And that's the same thing as like any other thing on YouTube. I have to try to find a way where I can be myself and be, you know, bread pill black and not alienate anybody. Like, Let's be real, how many people in this sphere alone just call people niggas? Like, I, I think I saw the one janitor use it once. And that, that that's about it. Probably ranting minority. Well, maybe I gotta rewatch his videos again just to be sure. But it's like, it's hard. Like, I, was in, I managed to get like 200 subscribers in like a couple months. And like, I've known people and spoke to people who's done this a lot longer than me and they barely have like a half of it. But like ways on getting people to watch my videos and watching them longer and getting them to um, in better, better um, not customer, but interact with the people better. Like, but those things are unexpected to me because I, I legit, like, I know how to do this stuff, but like, I don't know how to do this stuff at all. Like, I, it's like, I'm trying to be a big fish in a little pond, but like, I'm plankton. But I am grateful for what I have though. And this is why I'm doing this. Question eight, what are your goals for your channel? My goals for my channel, at least for this year, is to get a thousand subscribers. And, you know, hopefully get my channel lot, get my channel monetized. I want to inform and entertain and hopefully I can like write better and do better videos. I want to do stuff about white supremacy, things about radicalization, things about meme culture, um, media critique, about music and rap songs and like argue with like people that I know people on the left primarily don't know about, like Tommy Sotomayor, Brandon Tatum, Anthony Brian Logan, Jesse Lee Peterson, you know, people like that. 
thing that really inspired me about this channel and made me want to start it was that I realized there were way too many black people, black conservatives, who felt like they could talk about issues regarding people like us and then just throw us under the bus, but then talk bad about um, people like Roland Martin and Al Sharpton and other motherfuckers, okay? I understand there's some Rollo good loves out there, but that's way more palatable than there being Uncle Ruckuses. And I'm, I'm going after the Uncle Ruckuses. Yeah. And like I said before, I want to inform and entertain, hopefully pull people from the brain dead fucking disease known as conservatism. Like they're black supremacists or whole tap. Hopefully I can radicalize them and make them not as bigoted. In this video, I want to include a state of the channel. What that means is I want to give an idea about what I want my channel, where the, where the channel is at right now and um, what I plan to be like in the future. Right now, I recently just got a job over the past few weeks. Um, I moved from where I originally was and um, I had to get some stuff sent to me. So like things I could record with better wasn't here and now it is. Um, for my channel, I plan to upload at least two videos a week. This will count as the video for a week and then on for last week and then on um, either Wednesday or Thursday, I will put, be putting out a new Prager uh, based off the new Prager U video that they recently just created. Like, and I watched it. I can't find any argument, but like, I hope you all enjoy the new video I'm going to be putting out regarding it right now. I'm scripting it and putting out another one about white supremacy, at least the tears of it. Um, so, you know, minimum two videos a week is what I want to plan to do for my video. And I want to try to read more and do more research on how to expand my channel because I want my channel to grow. If I can get it to grow, I can make it be a better viewing experience for y'all and, you know, other people so you can come watch my stuff. And yeah, that's where the channel is. Like I've reached 227 subscribers to be exact. And I appreciate it. And I know I can do this. So I wanna do it better now. And hopefully um, 2021 will be the year that I do that. Anyway, I probably won't be making another one of these until I get like a thousand subscribers or maybe 10,000. I'm not sure yet. It depends. It depends on how life goes. But thanks again to everybody who watched this video. I hope you all like, share and subscribe for more content. And I wish each and every single one of y'all a good one and a great one. Peace. <laughs>